Bones there when I reopen my eyes. He looks awful. Harmony, sit. There is a tale that needs telling. What's going on? Uh, something. Please. Please. I move to one of the cushions, stuffed snugly between the roots of Bond's tree. He moves to sit before me, his eyes serenity mired by a grimace. Laszlo, he is injured. Oh. No. Be still. He lives, but the strands that tie him to this existence pull ever more taut and strained. Oh. What? What happened? The details are unclear, but they're painful. A fall, blood, allied feet trampling the... Oh, Omni. I need to go. He'll need me. I need to help him. You can do nothing for him. Not in that place. Jade has taken up the fight. There's no time left. Many lives now depend on your actions. On what you do here in Reverie. How? What can I do? Follow Chaos's design. Could... Could my mother's plan have been the right one all along? Reality swims around me. Laszlo, hurt, Nora in pain, and me, here, apart, from everything. Take this. Bond hands me there, Gregor. Chaos makes no move to take Infinite it. Infinite possibilities are born in this moment. I have seen all the conclusions and their consequences. That's not terrifying. Take the Gregor. Monoconza and the oppressor will be dealt a death blow. It will weaken them so they may never recover. And it is the only way, the only possible way to save your Laszlo. I don't know what to do. If I do this, really do this, anyone with a hint of prescience, prescience, prescience on Atina might die. Nora could die. But if I don't, if I believe Bond, Laszlo's as good as dead. I have seen the futures, but the tides of time are fickle. The best way, the only way to save Laszlo is with chaos. But even then, there are no guarantees. Jade's plan would keep Nora and the others safe. MK would still be weakened, but more slowly, methodically. My heart is racing. Remember, Harmony, the only certainty is the certainty of chance. Grab it while you can. Try. Fail and try again. I need a couple seconds to breathe and find the strength to reply. I will. That wasn't a couple seconds. That was, that was just an immediate response. Take a bit of the Egregor. You can do, Jade, you can do that and still follow my plan. Take more, Gregor. the truth. I made up my mind. Give me the Egregor. All of it. No, no, you can't let the plan die. Think of your mother. The approval she'd grant you. The pride she'd feel. I don't respond. I've made my choice. She's had plenty of opportunities to do it, and she hasn't. Glad I managed to keep this. We're gonna go with powers. 
So we'll come down to this. Glory's Nightclub. This is new. I managed myself a, I imagined myself a glorious pyramid, and there I am. Alright, so Glorious Nightclub. The sanctum has taken many forms over a course of time, mimicking humanity's art. This temple is, is but one ambition, to be Reverie's greatest wonder. The pyramid was once a place of entertainment, where anyone could come at come to make art, dance, talk, or write. It has since closed its gate, keeping glory hidden from everyone. The white sand surrounding it has been painstakingly collected from the brightest and most fleeting of human dreams. There's a force here, an invisible wall between me and the entrance to Glory's domain. This is the power Monoconzern wields over an aspiration. I choose to call on power, Zagregor. Feels different from the rest. There's a sharp there's a sharpened edge to it that the other aspirations Zagregors lack. And it's heavy. Heavy enough to move mountains. Go, Harmony. Show them your strength. I take the liquid sphere and smash it into the nothingness before me. Show them. The air shatters into a million shards of transparent debris that fall around me like rain. Monoconzern's hold on Reverie is weakened, but not broken. So I can't do that one, so I have to go here. Okay, whatever lies inside that pyramid, whatever challenges I have to overcome, I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Whoa. Stale booze, sweat, vomit. The inside of Glorious Pyramid smells like the tail end of the world's wildest night out. Uh... The disco ball in the center is the size of a small moon, but there's nothing festive about the rest. Glass or something resembling glass is sprinkled across the floor. It crunches underfoot as I move inside. Strobe lights pierce my retinas, leaving after images buzzing with the low hum of an oncoming headache. And there, splayed across the gigantic leather couch... Glory! She's not moving. Is she... unconscious? Before I can move towards her, my attention is caught by a gasping, gurgling sound from the other side of the room. There's a gash in the far wall, and from it flows a cascade of Egregor. Modified Egregor. MK Egregor. I use the crystals I have left to stem the tide, and it takes a bit of work, but the flow eventually stops and the gurgling ceases. But it's a temporary fix. This is the source of MK's influence over every, over its heart, and over glory. And it's only a matter of time until the tide rolls back in. I hear someone stirring behind me. Glory is awake. Alright, here we go. Glory's in a bad way, but even as she pulls herself from her stupor, she's... glorious. You must be the new oracle I keep hearing about. Well, hello. I am... Um, hello. She rises to her full height, and I'm momentarily lost for words. Light bends around her as if intimidated by her presence. I can empathize. You've met me at a very strange time in my existence. Are you alright? What happened? All this egregor. Things may have gotten a little out of hand. <laughs> Would you like the full screenplay or just the highlights? Reverie. Brittle. Everything's falling apart. We need to Highlights it is. <laughs> oh. I need a drink. She glances over at the gash in the wall where the MK modified egregor used to flow. Oh. So it's going to be like that. What did they do to you? She attempts to laugh, but it collapses into a hacking cough. She staggers, almost falling, and I rush to help. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh. 
headache like you wouldn't believe. She's shit-faced. She smells like champagne and money. This? All this? Dear Gregor, it was a deal. A collab. With someone on your side. Brittle. They give me enough of it to keep Reverie going. I give them a peek into the future. Ah. Uh, Mix things up a bit. Last piece of the puzzle comes screaming into view. MK's medical experiments, their hoarding of a Gregor, all of it to win the favor of a single aspiration. The one who's the most vulnerable to the premise of success. But the bastards did something to it. Changed it. <laughs> they played me. They played me. But now, without it, I... Without it, I can't... She breaks in another coughing and collapses to one knee. <coughs> Stupid. So they drugged her. Stupid. Stupid. Yep, they drugged her. So that's what happened. They drugged her. I desperately want to know the state of things in Brittle. Nora, Jade, Laszlo. But Glory can barely stand. She needs time. Which, unfortunately, we don't have. Fifty-five out of twenty-five. Cooperate with the aspirations. Someone told me that an aspiration cannot enter another sanctuary uninvited. And yet, something in the air has changed. Familiar presences. But it's not me they're haunting. Like a gust of wind bringing in smells and perfumes from a nearby marketplace. Cooking food, strong spices, roasting meat, rotting fish. All of it bursts into the room all at once. Fuck. We're both startled by all these new scents. I get it! I get it! Glory seems to be inhabited by voices I can't hear. I'm out of my depth, but I need to do something. Enough! Quiet! Let her speak! The smells are gone as abruptly as they came, leaving silence in their wake. Thank you. Seems like my siblings have a lot to complain about. Glory. Pride, ambition, and desire form the core essence of glory, coated in glitter and acuteness. As the most recent heart of reverie, she propels humanity's current dreams to greater heights than ever before. Glory feeds the ego, allowing humans to reach their full potential. She has helped to refine Reverie's architecture and transform dreams from mere drafts into sharp, inspiring visions. She has expanded the limits of dreams, allowing further exploration of Reverie's boundaries. Above all, Glory has introduced the concept of beauty to dreams. Everybody was worried. Or, you know, unsettled. I will leave the heart. Oh. It's the only way to show. To prove my fucking goodwill. Good. That will appease them. That was aggressive. Then, something changes. Something breaks. Something stops beating. Whoa. Is, is that you, Glory? She turns around to face me. Her face is as surprised as I am. I can't hear her reply. I can't hear anything, really. So 33 bliss. So 33 bliss. 38 power. 23 bond. 23 truth. 0 glory and 22 chaos. But what just happened, though? Is MK taking uh, taking her over? What is happening? <laughs> 